Today is August 17th, 2018. The time is 10.51 a.m. This is Agent Kevin Kobach from CBI making a phone call to witness in the Watts matter. Nicole Lee Kessinger at 720-656-9605. Nicole uh, texted me last night and said that she recalled some further information after an interview with her on the 16th. So the phone call will be to update whatever information she wants to provide and address a couple other issues that were not addressed during the initial interview. Hello. Hi, Nikki. It's Kevin. Hi. How are you? Sorry. Uh, I'm a- sorry for the delay. I got stuck in a meeting, obviously. I uh, couldn't walk out. So I apologize for taking so long to get back to you. Again, if you need any, if you, if I can put you in touch with somebody from a victim advocate to whatever I can help you with, just call and ask. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need you to do that once we're done talking. Okay. Sure. I can get somebody in touch with you today. So what you texted me about 2 a.m. and said that you uh, remembered some other information. What did you remember? Just for your information, we're at around the two-minute mark of this interview. Like, just kind of odds and ends, um, and I'm sure there will be more as this goes on. I just, I interacted with him so much that sometimes, like, I just have to stop and think about how much information that I have gotten from him over the last few months in the last week or so and you know like I said I never know what's true and what's not anymore sure. but I figure I'll just give you guys everything I have and hopefully I don't have to keep calling you back with more but no promises anything that comes to mind that you think is important I'd like to know because you again you know him better than anybody probably over the last six to eight weeks so that's that's anything that he said to you or anything that stands out to you as you're reflecting on all this um kind of mess here is important for me to know. Understood. A um, couple things. So one, I went back and I tried to like find whatever text you were talking about between my friend Charlotte and me with the e-harmony thing and I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, if you, and I, I mean, her and I text so much though so like if you find it and you show it to me, let me know but it's just like, I mean, I was on that site but it was never like worth a damn for me. However, when I was going back through there, I did realize that I had like offhandedly mentioned to her a little bit about Chris. I didn't tell her that I was like how deep the rabbit hole went on that, I guess you could say, but it was kind of vague and she was asking a lot of questions at that point. What she's saying here ties in with what I was thinking and the notes that I made when I read the texts originally. So I'll just insert some slides and you can pause them to get a feel for what was going through my head and you can compare to what she's saying and then start the audio again. I think um, I just looked at the the messages and it, there was some like little bit of conversation regarding yeah he's got kids um, there was some conversations about some sexual related stuff and that was about it does that sound right yeah that's it 
and that girl's so wrapped up and everything that's going on in her life. Like, I don't even think she realizes what's going on in the news. Okay. I don't even think she's going to connect the dots. Like, I would be <clears throat> surprised. Like, I honestly am convinced that if I don't say a word about it, I bet you she won't even bring him up. I'm not concerned about her. The concern I had there is there seemed like there was some conversation about a boyfriend, and <clears throat> it doesn't seem like, so you were actually talking to her about Chris, not a boyfriend. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't, I like, I went back to those texts, I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> what, okay. what else? Um, on Monday night, so a couple things, um, I told you we had been, he had like texted me, and then at the end of the night, we had, he had called, or I had called, I think he called me, but either way, we were on the phone with each other. And like, part of the, at some point when we were on the phone, he was like, he was like, do you want to FaceTime? And I remember I was laying in bed, and I was and I was just like, you know what? Okay, let me turn on the light. And I remember I turned on the light, and we FaceTimed. And when we FaceTimed, he didn't really say much. Like, it was almost kind of awkward. I don't even know why I didn't think of this earlier, but it was, like, it was very short, too. It was super brief. And like, I what, what's short? Like, what? What? What is short? Like a couple of minutes or thirty minutes? Oh no! I thought it was only probably like less than five minutes. I think it was only okay. like a couple of minutes. Okay. And he, I think we we were like talking a little bit, but he like he was laying down on a mattress that didn't have any sheets on it, and um. I was like, okay, so I was thinking like, well, maybe he's like, he's in bed, I don't know what's up, but I remember asking him like, where's your sheet, you know, and he's like, he's like, oh, I washed them, and then this is the part I don't remember if this sentence right here came in this FaceTime conversation or if it came in a phone conversation prior to the FaceTime conversation, but I remember he was saying that he was cleaning the house. Um, to try to keep busy to take his mind off of things. And this was on the phone. And, and it was kind of late when he was doing it. And, like, I didn't honestly think that much about it originally because because I was like, okay, well, that's what he does. He just, like, on his days off, like, he organizes his basement or he, like, cleans his garage. It's just it's what he does. But something that just kind of, like, dawned on me last night is he made the comment directly after that. He said, I had to wash the kids' sheets. He was like, they smell. And I was like, was thinking about that last night. I'm like, this man keeps that house so clean. Why would his kids' sheets smell bad? Do you think this was what? Monday night? What time do you think it was Monday night? I don't even know. I almost wish you guys would show me my phone. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna read home. off your phone calls for Monday and Tuesday. Right. Monday night, you guys had um, we talked about um, a phone call yesterday, but you guys had a phone call Monday night. It looks like he called you. It was 48 minutes and 57 seconds. It was at 9:48 p.m. that he called you. Um, so that would take us to about 10.35. And then there's another call on Monday. It's for 51 minutes and 25 seconds, it looks like. I'm not sure, looking at this, who called who, but it looks like you called him. And that was at 11.09 p.m. That lasted 51 minutes, so that takes us to um, midnight. And then there's another phone call where he calls you. So we're now into midnight, you know, Tuesday morning, it's a 30-minute phone call um, that lasts until 12.38 a.m., and then after 12.38 a.m., there's a 2-minute and 44-second phone call that lasts for, or pardon me, that starts at 1.12 a.m., it's 2 minutes and 44 seconds. So Yeah, so I would almost, this is just me, but I would go get my text messages with him from that night, and I would, like, sync them up to that, like, time frame, because okay. there was texting in between that. So I think what happened is he called me on that first call, and then there's that gap between the first call and the second call. In, in that gap, that was when I be FaceTimed for a few minutes, and that was when I got up out of bed because I was just having trouble sleeping and I was like I went and did laundry that's what I did I went and like put some clothes I 
just put some clothes in the dryer and then I think I called him back and then we continued to talk so that little gap right there between those two big phone calls at the very beginning of the night yes. I mean, not the very beginning of the night but the like the big big ones of the, the the first two so in between that gap there's a there's like a quick FaceTime so do you think that two minute and 44 second is the FaceTime the one at the very end yeah well, so no, there's, there's, there's. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even think the FaceTime's on there. Okay. The so FaceTime occurred in between those two big phone calls. That, okay. Like, no. There's a few more calls on Tuesday. So 112 is the two minute and 44 second call. That so that lasts till um, approximately 114, and then there's a long gap uh, until 150. So another 45 or 35 minutes, and then there's a seven minute phone call. That phone call lasts yeah. till 1.58 a.m. And then there's a 10-second phone call at 2.07 a.m. Followed by, um, so he, I think he calls you and maybe leaves a voicemail or something or doesn't, you don't pick up. Uh, so there's a 10-second call. And then directly after that, there's a 10-minute and 24-second phone call. about the two at the very beginning of the, the okay two the, the, beginning, the two long, the really ones? long ones yes 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 i will help you line this up like i almost want to just come in there and like drop and drag all of my text to where they were going and it, you know what like, we may meet and do that uh here coming early next week well all those phone calls at the very end of the night that was me freaking out like if you look at my text a lot of that was like i can't sleep i'm really scared where's your family that was like me freaking out and okay. him calling to like try to reassure me or me calling him like please talk to me I'm super scared where's your family like those those little ones at the very end of the night are, are me not being able to sleep and trying to get him to like talk to me about like and just I guess making sure everything was okay so that, those, those like real late ones and that's why they're all kind of like sporadic because I'd be up for like an hour and then I'd fall asleep for like 15 minutes and then I would like wake up and start stressing again and try to call him back like so that's why they're all these like little sporadic ones throughout the end of the night but those two big ones is it, so yesterday we talked about Tuesday was mainly text messages regarding um, your confrontation about his wife being pregnant yeah is that accurate um, it is, and I okay. mean, I guess, I guess those phone calls were on Tuesday morning, but for me, it was still Monday okay, night. Okay, so I, I get it. I was talking to you guys last night. That's right. how I referred to it because I hadn't like gone to bed yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. No, that makes sense to me. Okay, so okay, so so, 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 he, so I guess those technically were on Tuesday, but according to my daily sleep schedule, that was still my Monday night. Right. So the last phone call. Um, with him on Monday, well, it, it's it, it basically starts into Tuesday. Um, it takes you all the way to Tuesday. It actually okay. ends like basically at midnight on Monday, August thirty first. So okay. um, his wife gets home sometime at about two o'clock on um, that morning. So no, she got home on Sunday. Pardon me, Sunday. Sunday. So, did you ever talk to him late on Sunday night? No, we were on the phone, but I mean, I, I had to let him go and get up and go to work. That, and that would have been the last time that I talked to him until the work day on Monday. The, the most important thing that you've said here is this Monday night phone call. Um, he doesn't have any sheets on the bed, and he said his children's sheets were smelly. So let's let's get back to that because I feel like you and me are kind of getting off track. Yep. I think when he told me that, I don't think he told me that in the FaceTime text. We're now at around the 16-minute mark. He was like, "Their sheets smell," and I remember thinking to myself, "Like, why? Like, you keep such a clean house. Like, why would your kids' sheets stink?" She's up the language from smelled to stink, and she's about to do a whole rerun of what she said before. Did you confront him? Why they? What's up? Did you confront him? Why the sheet smelled, or did you inquire why? No, 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 no. I didn't even ask. I mean, uh, his children were quite young, and I think one of them was still in diapers. Um, would would have that been a potential reason? You know, that one of them had an accident. I don't know. 
I mean, he didn't elaborate. But even if his kids were to be in diapers and, like, have accidents, like, I just feel like the man keeps his house so clean, and she does, too. They both must have to, to, like, coexist in a house that clean. But, like, I just don't see anything in the house, like, smelling. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm really trying to help you guys. I just, I need you guys to help me too. Like, yes, ma'am. This is a t- and I would like to sit down with you once we um, have your text messages and the phone calls, and we can put them in a uh, some type of easily looking that we can sit down and look at them and compare them and we can kind of get the context of how everything was going that night i would like to do that with you sometime probably next week i mean i can do that i don't mind giving you guys my time i just need you guys to like help me with my employer and try to just help me brace for this media thing and just but um i will tell you that i think that when they started looking at information for us um, and I clarified this this morning because I didn't do some of the work on this, but there was either text messages or emails between you and Chris that were on, yeah, that were on company related phones or on company company related computers that um, they were privileged to look at. So they already know about you. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep my job. I hope they don't fire me for that. I mean, technically, I'm not an APC employee, and he is, and it was his phone and not mine. So, well, like, I don't, I, I don't think. I don't think that's fire. Like, I don't know labor law. I'll just put it that way. You know, whatever. I mean, people have relationships at work, and you guys were smart enough to stop the stuff. However, you guys did it. If you read the paper today, you saw they already fired Chris. I mean, that, oh yeah, well that, as they should, that, but I'm right. hoping they're not going to fire me. Well, too, and I think you tough. need to. If it was me, and this is just a personal, this is not a professional opinion. It's a personal opinion because I'm trying to help you as much as I can. I want you to make sure that you're comfortable and safe and everything that's happening. Okay. Okay. So um, let me yeah, do that. Yeah, and we can. Uh, uh, we can. I. Go ahead. No, I have a couple more questions that don't relate to anything that we just talked about. Is there anything else that you remembered last night that you want to address? Yeah, a few. So um, I'm not done yet. Okay. Um, and then um, and then we can talk about that whole thing, too, because I was actually going to see if I could email them today. I was going to email my, like, upper, upper boss, see if she can have a schedule sit down with my employer, Tasman, and schedule sit down with the AP. And I want to get in a room with them all at the same time and just give them kind of a brief synopsis of what's going on and just ask them for help because I don't want to give them too much. Specifically things that relate directly to um, why something may have happened or time frames or things like that they don't need to know that I think oh I wasn't going to tell them that I was just going to let them know that I was you were in a relationship with with him and that I yes. was that I'm like a witness to this case, and that right now it's pretty quiet. I didn't commit any crimes, and <clears throat> I'm not in trouble. But right. I'm working with the prosecutor to try to help to bring some closure to this horrible thing. It's just an unfortunate circumstance. And, and then, hey, I had a relationship with this guy, and that's all they need to know. I mean, you have to protect your. Um, your employment and in your personal well-being but i do think you're uh, on the right track of getting ahead of it just minimal information you don't have to tell them very much but th- some of the people um here in the victim advocate realm may be able to give you some better advice uh than than i i was hoping to do that today because i would like to either go to work on my day or like figure yep. out what is going yeah. on with- oh we're at the 24 minute mark now Let's just see what we've covered. Not much, really. I want to reach out to them today. And okay. That, that, I'll, I, as soon as we're done here, I'll, I'll make that my next priority. What, what other things is there that um, you thought of last night? Oh, um, so I don't know when this phone conversation happened. I think that this was Monday at some point as well. I think it might have even been the same phone conversation as him washing the sheets and everything. Um, He, I think it might have been the same conversation. Um, He informed me that her friend Nikki's son uh, was at the house when the cops came and that he was running all over the house and up and down in all the rooms. And at this point, I was like, 
Or was anything missing? So I was like, well, maybe if she's staying with Nikki or somebody, maybe she forgot some stuff. So maybe they're sending, you know, they're like sending him in, like, hey, go get a toothbrush or go get this or go get that. Like, I didn't, I didn't know. And so he's like, yeah, this little kid was like running all over my house and in all the different rooms in the house. And I was like, well, is anything missing? And he was like, he was like, well, there, I think there's some blankets missing from my kids' rooms, but I don't think he took them. I think she did. Okay. So he said, little kid, do you know how old this man was or boy was? Oh, Nikki's son? I don't know. Okay. I think he's like 10 or 12. Like, I think he's like a, like a, yeah. I don't know. I think he's like 10 or 12. Like old enough to like process information and run around house. So he said he thought that the kid didn't take him, but that maybe um, Shanann had taken him. Yes. That's a uh, weird, okay. I'm just making some notes, just a sec. Take your time. Okay. What else? Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, I don't know. Keep a notepad and a pen and paper with you and write it down. Does that sound like a decent idea? It does. Okay. I don't but, know what else I was going to tell you. Oh, well, oh, when we FaceTime, too. So let me go back to that, too. So okay. I think all of this was on Monday. So I think the, both the comments about the blankets and the sheets were on that first phone call on Monday. And then directly after that phone call, there was, like, a brief FaceTime. And when I FaceTimed him, he was, like, he was laying on a bed that didn't have any sheets on it. Okay. And I remember, and he was like in, um, just like like a little, like a little wife beater top, and he didn't really say much. It was like he wanted me to talk to him, and he like wanted me to talk to him, but he was like kind of quiet. And actually, that was why I got off the phone with him and went and did laundry, and then so I would call him back on the phone because when we were FaceTiming, it was like kind of weird. I was like, uh, I don't really know where this is going, like. You're not really having a conversation with me. So like, he was just removed. He wasn't very engaged in the conversation. He was just like really fixated on like me. Like I bet you if I wouldn't have talked, he would have been okay with it. Yeah. I mean, it was just like it was really brief too. Like it was super short, and I was just like, this is not going anywhere. And I remember telling him like, I will call you back. But let me go do some laundry. So I like got out of bed and went through some clothes in the dryer that I had forgot to put in the dryer prior to laying down. And then, um, I don't know, I think I might have did like one or two other little quick things. And then I got back in bed and then called him back on the phone. And that's when that second long phone call started. Okay. All right, great. Anything else? Um, off the top of my head, I don't, I don't really think. There endeth 30 minutes of drivel.